Hi guys! So I hope you've enjoyed the series of bonus videos in my creative year this week for the creative well-being bag. I'm going to share with you now what's in my bag but also the inspiration for at least part of this project which is this little bag. The little bag I got from um, somebody a long time ago as a gift and um, I don't even remember how many years ago now and over the years what's in this bag has changed bags um, depending on what strikes my mood. This is a little coach bag um, and this my brother-in-law Philip calls this my sacred objects bag. He's not wrong. Um, it's a little bag of treasured items. It goes with me literally everywhere. It probably weighs a good pound or two. It's not super lightweight, so my purse is generally on the heavy side. Um, whether I'm traveling or at home, no matter where I am, this bag goes with me. And I'll show you why. It's filled with favorite objects I've collected over the years from different people, some who are no longer with us and different places that we I've been. Grab. I literally have rocks and gemstones in here. And crumbs, because you know. All right. So in this little bag here are a bunch of small objects. <sighs> Semi-precious stones, amethyst, some quartz crystals, there are actually some pearls in here, an old key, a little Hello Kitty little charm that my daughter gave me a really long time ago. Oops, can we see that? Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Um, some safe journey coins, a goddess um, charm and various items of the like. The little small things are in this small drawstring bag. I have some larger sort of protection stones in here. A lot of these are like protection stones and crystals, different ones. I have actually a fossil, which is pretty cool. I got that on a trip. I have a St. Francis of Assisi medallion and prayer. Um, this was given to me many, many years ago by my great grandmother. Lucarati, and um, there's another one that she actually tucked in the back here that's in Italian. And then I found when my grandmother passed away her daughter, I found more of them in her stash, so I put that in here too. I did grow up a practicing Catholic, so rosary beads, and, the, and they're blessed rosary, rosary beads. I have some, yeah, these are um, guardian angel coins. I also have a lucky Chinese coin. Things that bring me comfort. There's another one of these medallion things. This leather little pocket was part of a keychain. You can see that it's broken. This was purchased for me by my mother at a fair probably 40 years ago. Um, I don't know. It used to have a lucky penny in it. I think I took the penny out a long time ago, but I don't know why I've always kept this. You can t see that it's worn and yeah, I don't know, but it lives in here. There's another stray amethyst and there's also a Chinese lucky frog and in this little, this is supposed to be some kind of lucky coin envelope. It's pretty beat up and tattered, but it lives in here. It goes with me everywhere. So we took the idea of this bag and thought, what if a group of people, um, us here in my creative year, got together and made sort of a creative well-being bag or a creative inspiration bag, something that could bring you comfort and joy um, and maybe inspiration in a creative artistic way. So I made the bags you saw in my video, and then each successive person made something else for the bag. I have my charm here tucked inside because it was sitting on a wire shelf. It kept getting caught on stuff, so. Each one of my friends made me different things, including the charm that's on here, which I think was from Lisa. The little watercolor paintings, which were from Ian. Ian Jackson. Aren't they beautiful, the little paintings? Um, I 
I actually made this little notebook filled with inspirational words that I stuck in here inspirational creative words. I made it out of a matchbook cover. Um, Anne made me this little small sort of journal, which I've, oops, um, it's just like paper clipped together. There we go. And I've kept it in the envelope because I don't want to lose any of the pieces. And that has her writing on it, so I love that. The butterfly sticks out a little bit, so let's see if we can turn it down so it doesn't get bent. And then Cindy Simmons, I mean Simmons, holy cow, that's a Nate blast from the past. Um, my old boss, Cindy Utter, <laughs> made me this little um, sort of a portable inspirational charm here. Oh, it looks like one of her feet came off, but I'll fix it. And so she lives in the bag. I'll fix that off camera. And everything lives in the bag. And you could, of course, carry this with you in your purse. Um, it, put it in your, maybe your travel art bag so that you have your creative charms with you wherever you go, um, your sacred um, art objects, um, things that can bring you comfort and joy. Whether you do it this way or you do it this way, I'm not going to tell you it's not a good idea. I've been carrying this for probably 35 years, so... <laughs> some objects in here that are really really old and it started out to just be the rosary beads and it just progressed into the bag that it is today so anyway I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do and that you've enjoyed this creative process this week don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're not part of the Facebook group my creative year and wannabe the link is in the description below and above all go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later bye guys